We present Everybody Loves Sketch, a 3D curve sketching system that helps non-professional users visualize and evolve a design directly in 3D with a minimum burden of perspective drawing knowledge and skills by providing easy and quick ways of sketch surface definition and dynamic perspective drawing hints. A tick crossing a 3D curve or global axis defines a horizontal sketch plane attaching to the 3D tick point and having orthographic assisting lines on it. Two consecutive ticks crossing 3D curves define a vertical sketch plane having the two 3D tick points in it. Three consecutive ticks crossing the 3D curves define an oblique sketch plane. Because the system automatically displays horizontal and perpendicular assisting lines on the selected sketch plane, the user doesn't have to worry about perspective line construction. By applying a small lasso gesture on a 3D curve, the user activates the axis widget and applies an angled flick on it to define an arbitrary direction of an extruded sketch surface without the need of a view change. Everybody Loves Sketch allows the user to create a temporary freeform sketch surface. The user chooses two, three, or four 3D curves that make a closed loop, identifies a wanted surface area by using an area fill gesture, sketches 3D curves on the sketch surface, and later throws it away by scratching it out. To keep the gesture vocabulary compact, for a few rarely used functions, we provide a crossing menu to maintain a consistent sketching feeling. Now, the symmetric sketching mode is turned off. Everybody Loves Sketch allows multi-selection. The user can select more than one 3D curve by applying small lasso gestures on them, and then extrude all of them along any direction by using the axis widget. Among multiple extruded surfaces, only the most sketchable one in the current view is the active sketch surface. The user can switch the active sketch surface by changing viewpoint and sketch 3D curves on all of them. The intersection points of a sketched 3D curve and another surface can be used when it becomes the active sketch surface. The user can also copy and paste selected 3D curves by applying a tick mark on one of the boundary lines of the active sketch surface. Two ticks for a rotated vertical sketch plane. four-sided freeform sketch surface. In any plane sketch mode, two taps on the plane creates an interactive grid which is a dynamic version of the perspective grid sheets used in traditional perspective drawing practice. A stroke drawn along a grid line is approximated to an exact straight line, while an elliptic stroke within a grid rectangle is approximated to a circle or ellipse. Because the grid size is half the distance between the two tap positions on the plane, the user can double the resolution of the grid by applying a new tap on the middle grid point between the previous two tap positions. The interactive grid is easily deactivated by erasing it. We brought our system to high school design classes for evaluation. We instructed three classes of high school students in our system for two days, 
and then they used our system for nine days, 75 minutes each day. The first class was directed to design freeform architecture, the second mice and cars, and the third anything, including 3D cartoon characters. Most students created their first meaningful 3D models in the first two days, and 47 of the 49 students eventually succeeded in creating 3D shapes by 3D sketching. The students commented, I'm able to draw the 3D curves I normally couldn't draw in this program. That helps me get my ideas out of my head. Amazing concept. Super easy to draw and fix my ideas. It becomes addicting. I strongly like the program. Time goes by too fast when using the program. Very fun. Everybody loves, everybody loves sketch. <laughs>